free weekly BBO instant tournament for the week of November 5th when I recorded this the sound only came from the computer not from the microphone so there was no sound so I showed you how to get in there was one of the sounds from the computer so I'm going to go and turn those off here uh, last week when I played this tournament I scored 52 percent and had the same problem with no sound so uh, I didn't get that one posted I'm going to try to recreate my logic as we play the hands not sure I will get it all right in the right sequence but we will see this is me turning off the computer sound I thought I was having computer sound in my talking when I recorded it so here we go I've got 15 flat hand I'm really not worried about the doubleton diamond I remember saying that there it is I pointed at him and I went ahead and opened one no trump as you know I will do and I'm sure by now if you've been following my videos and you're following any instructions from me you would do the same thing and we're gonna play one no trump and we're hoping they don't take the first six or seven diamonds partner has five diamonds that's good so we have one spade and three clubs that's it that's four tricks we need to get three more tricks the king of diamonds is a possible one the king of hearts is a possible trick and we can finesse in spades and we can drop the ten of clubs i mean we can drop the jack of clubs or we can finesse east for the jack successfully for another club so we've got a possible club a possible diamond a possible heart and a possible spade we need three of those to come home to make the contract well we've got our heart trick so now do we, want, we, we don't have very many entries to dummy um, if we're gonna finesse spades we might should do it now my gut feeling I remember was I think the king of spades is gonna be in west when east leads to eight but I'm not sure but since I don't have a lot of entries to dummy I recall I Put in the queen here hoping that this would be one of my three extra tricks that i need and it uh, of course doesn't work there you go i remember that and now the heart comes back and just in case west led to four initially and it looks like he must have five four or five i ducked the heart to block the suit um, maybe i should have you could also consider winning the king if he's had three he might would have returned them but I ducked. Uh, I still have a hard entry to dummy. Um, I was probably talking about the club suit there. Um, the bet, the way to play this club suit is ace king queen statistically trying to drop the uh, jack, uh, drop singleton jack, doubleton jack, or any three three split. But you know you don't win the games by statistics alone. You see if you can get a count, and now we have a count. There's five hearts in west. That leaves two hearts in east. That's eight vacant spaces in west to 11 vacant spaces in east. We don't worry about the four spades here at this point in time. So the odds are 11 to 8 that the jack of spades is with east. Of course, the odds are 11 to 8 that the ace of diamonds is with east. So we're going to try to see if we can gather any more information. If we're going to finesse in clubs, we might should better do it now. But I think I want to uh, cash at least two clubs and see what happens in diamonds. They might have to lead clubs for me. And I always get my ace of spades and play for the 3-3 three, three split uh, as an entry. So here I decided to play uh, ace-king of heart clubs, keeping a club and then lead a diamond up, trying to get my king of diamonds because I'm going to need that one. Okay, so now... West can cash a couple two hearts, so I'll throw away. Well, the club club discard there gives me all the uh, clubs now. I'll discard my second spade in my hand to be good. That's his last heart. My hand plus the king of diamonds are, is good. So I could actually claim at this point the robot would know I'm, I'm good. But, you know, I'll just win this one and claim, I think I recall. And that turned out to be pretty good. So here's the next hand. 
I've got 19, so I'm too strong for or no trump. Obviously, I'm going to open a diamond. Planning on, I'm, I'm not going to reverse into two spades or jump shift into two spades. I can't reverse anyway because uh, I, I believe a reverse needs the first suit has to be longer. So I'm going to open a diamond and jump to two no trump unless partner bids one spade, in which case I'll raise spades, obviously. My hand now is worth 20 points. I get a point for the doubleton with four card spade support. I have 19 working um, high card points and a doubleton, four card support. So it's, I'll bid four spades. That shows 19 to 21 support point or 22 support points, something like that. So what I was doing there was describing if he's got six and I've got 20 counting to St. Doubleton, that's 26. That's enough for game. So bang, I bid it. I think we all probably did that. We can count our points. And the opening leads Ace of Hearts, so we count our losers. We have in Dummy, we have three heart losers. The King Queen covers two of them. We have one club loser. The Ace of Clubs covers that one. We have two diamond losers. The King Queen of Diamonds covers one of those. And we have possible two spade losers. And the Ace of Spades covers one. And the Spade split 2-2. Two, two. Queen of Spades falls singleton. Um, we'll cover both of the spade losers. So it looks like we might make four or five. As long as they don't rough a heart. So let's see if they rough a heart here. And they didn't. So we haven't seen the nine of hearts. West played the jack ten. East led the ace eight. So we're not sure which one of them has the nine of hearts. I think if he's had the ni ace nine eight, he would might have led the nine second, secondly. But it's not clear. It doesn't really matter. We don't want anybody to rough one. So we're going to play two rounds of spades. We'll start with the king in case west shows out. We can finesse east for the west. We can finesse east for the queen of hearts, queen of spades. And then we'll, uh, with our hearts being good, we'll throw two diamonds off dummy. We don't need to rough them. We'll rough a club. So as long as spades aren't 4-1, we should be okay. 4-0, 5-4, 2-2 -oh. or 5-4, 3-1 are certainly most likely. So my intent here wasn't to finesse the Queen of Spades unless uh, he showed out. So now we lead a spade to the ace. And if they're 2-2, two, two, which they're not, so I'm going to lose a spade. But now it's just unblocked the hearts. They can take their trump whenever they want it, rough a club. Pitching two diamonds on the hearts, they can trump in on the hearts anytime they want. Hearts are good. So East had the nine of hearts. So we rough the club and take our hearts and then knock out the ace of diamonds eventually. And we'll just, they get their ace of, or their queen of spades and that's it. So the, This board, of course, would lose to anybody who bid the, uh, who played the spades by finessing the queen, but they would have gotten a horrible score if the queen had been uh, doubled on all sides there. Of course, they got a pretty good score with it being on side, but just making was a pretty good score. So that's okay. The old joke is, what do you call an eight-card uh, suit? And the answer to that joke is trumps. I have eight diamonds. I have a dubious king of spades, so I have 4, 8, 12, 30, 14, 15. I subtract 1 for the king of spades. It's 14 high card points. But as we can see, we have 8 diamonds, so we get uh, 4 extra points for the 5th, 1 each for the 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th diamond. We also get um, a point for the quality diamond suit, so we have 14 plus 5 is 19 starting points. A negative here is not much of a negative. It's all, a lot of my points are in my short suits. Partners makes a negative double. Uh, I'm just too good not to bid five diamonds. I don't. I've already got a known eight card heart diamond fit because I've got eight of them in my hand. And partner bid six diamonds. Uh, did we gamble to bid seven? So we'll just pass. 
and it, there's only two diamonds out, so we can obviously pull the diamonds and throw the ten of clubs on the king of hearts, so we just have to keep an entry to dummy. So I'm not going to play my two of diamonds anytime soon, because I can always leave the two to the four if I want, because there's only two diamonds out. Or I could actually rough the king of spades to get the dummy to pitch a pitch a diamond, uh, pitch a, a club on the heart. So we'll pull trumps before we mess with hearts. It's unlikely somebody can rough one. We just want to be sure we keep an entry over there. And like I said, the four of diamonds can be an entry if I don't if I don't ever play the two of spades. Well, that's all the trumps, so it doesn't matter. We can claim the robot might give it to us, but we'll just unblock the hearts so there's no question about it and then we'll go back to dummy and throw our club away and now everyone can see my hand is good I can even rough the king of diamonds uh, which would I mean the king of spades so we just claim that one and move on to the next hand so for number four I have 13 high card points and a nice six card suit. Matter of fact, I can take five hearts for sure against any defense. So this is just a smidgen too good to pass um, in this auction. So that's a force enough if we get another chance. That's forcing enough trumps you get another chance to bid. But we will. So partner raises to three hearts. Okay, so I've got a good hand. I can get at the partner supports me. I get a bonus point for the sixth heart. I get a bonus point for having two doubletons, not a point for each doubleton, but for two doubletons I get one. Uh, and I had six hearts to begin with, so I get two more points for the long suit and a point for the quality suit. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I got 18 points. Partner promises 8 to 10. So we're just going to bid 4 hearts. Well, we have uh, a diamond loser. Uh, two diamond losers covered by the queen jack. So it's only one, I mean, what's only have one diamond loser. No club losers. Two spade losers and maybe a heart loser. Four losers is one too many. So we'll have to find the king of hearts on side. I unblocked the jack of diamonds so I, because I need entries to dummy in case they knock out the ace of clubs. Won't be able to. Well, we'll just grab one entry to dummy now and try the heart finesse. We need the heart finesse to win to make. And it won, so there's only two two hearts out. Uh, they both the king's over here. We don't know where the looks like the three of hearts is. So it could be king three, or it could be king over here and three over here. So we'll cross the dummy again with the ace of clubs. We won't risk the diamond, and we'll try the finesse again. Okay, there's the three, so this is going to win. So now we pick up, pick up the last trump, and all our cards are good. So we can claim. So that was basically a 50% game. Uh, they might have been able to manage a diamond rough, I guess. So it could have been less than 50%. Make this a little bit bigger. I got a message here, which is hide that. Um... So here I have another, this will be a very strong one, no trump opener. I do have 17. Some people might not uh, open this in no trump. We're going to open it a club. Well, I could double and partner might bid a major which isn't the end of the world I could bid four clubs I'm not going to bid four clubs 
Maybe I should have opened a no trump. Oh, I had 18 points. That's why I didn't open a no trump. Okay, so I couldn't open a no trump. It was too strong for a no trump. I miscounted it just sitting here. I thought I was going to put this in a no trump. I guess I'll... Kate played three no trump. I guess I'll pass and see what partner does. Maybe he can come back in on his own. All right. It looks like partner is led from the uh, ten nine something. Will win this one. Not likely as a singleton king, but we'll try it. We'll cash the club. I don't like leading the ace there. Even if you play ace, ace king, you only do that trick one. I don't know what the club suit is. I'm going to exit a. Uh, We've got three tricks. I'm going to exit a diamond and hope we get at least a spade or a heart. I don't think we've got to get another heart. Okay, partner went over king. Now he can set up his uh, jack of hearts. Nothing I can do about it. Maybe I should let a spade instead of a diamond. Okay, so Declare had six diamonds. Partner says she's got the uh, spade ace there, or the nine of spades. They, they tend, they don't always, but they tend to pitch a big card when they're excited. I wish they were more consistent. Well, we'll find out now. All right, well. Let's go cash it. Diamond, and now it just depends on who's got the ace of spades. And there's the ace of spades. So down one. And that turned out to be pretty good. Okay, so here I have a six card club suit and 17 high card points. Uh, you might consider this too strong for one no trump opening bid. You could open a club and rebid two no trump. But I, there's some negative features. Let's discuss the ace, king, doubleton, and spades. That, that's good. It's going to win two tricks. But I'm not going to set up any long tricks in spades um, by using my ace and king. Ace, doubleton, and hearts. Again, I'm not going to set up any additional hearts by using the ace. So, so the plus feature is I got a nice quality suit. Um, and uh, six clubs. But... I, I don't want to open a club and jump to two no trumps. So as you're probably not surprised if you watch me, I like to open a no trump with robot partners because the auctions are simplified. So I will open a no trump. Now the question is, do I want to sell out for two spades? I'm not vulnerable, so I'm down one, down two might not be too much. I'm going to bid uh, three clubs, I think. I, six clubs, I can't not, not bid it. Okay, so here we are in three clubs. We need nine tricks. And partner has basically nothing for us. We need going to lose two clubs if clubs are split nice. A heart and a diamond. So we should be okay. Takes a 4-1 split uh, to cause us any trouble. And it can't be east with the four because I might be able to get the dummy with the king of diamonds. And uh, lead through West nine of nine of clubs and finesse to seven. We've got the nine eight. That's to be a singleton eight. Okay, so uh, this is my plan. It's just knock pull trumps and uh, try to take two diamonds, two spades, a heart, and four clubs. So we'll just start with a low club. I mean, not a low club, but we'll lead to 10. Maybe somebody a duck the ace king. Most of the points, missing points, would be in west. He had a very bad spade suit. Uh, and he overcalled it two levels, so he's probably got high card points. So now if they both follow this club, uh, we're going to be okay. Uh, I don't know what I was babbling about there. So I'm saying only West can have four clubs because he certainly has the ace-king. 
uh, on this auction because East can't have that many points. <clears throat> so uh, went mouse crazy there, but so we know West is going to follow. So the question does East, and he doesn't. So we're going to lose three clubs, a heart and a diamond for down one. Well, we can unblock the Queen of Diamonds, so there's no need to get the dummy. But we might want to play it so he doesn't lead back another diamond. Might have been, we wanted to lead back another, not a heart. Okay, so now they're going to get their uh, two trumps. Nothing we can do about it. So we could claim at this point. But we'll just pull one round of trumps, and they still got the nine of clubs. So. We'll just, I was going to claim minus one, but I just went ahead and played another round of trumps to show the nine of clubs. And now we can claim. I could have claimed several tricks ago, of course. Seems like you're likely to get the three clubs even if you open a club. So let's look at this one 13 points, six diamonds. There doesn't seem to be any option but to open one diamond. The king, queen of hearts, doubleton, you lose a point for that. And also in the back of your mind, you think about the high card points in short suits aren't as useful as high card points in long suits. So the question is, do you want to rebid uh, two diamonds? you got six diamonds. If playing imps, I'd rebid uh, two diamonds. But uh, I like to play no trump at match point. So I don't mind rebidding one no trump with this hand. Either... I think what I was discussing here was either bid's probably okay. One might be slightly more advantageous on any advantageous on any individual hand. But I went with one no trump. And everybody let me play. Well, we have two hearts. Two spades with that lead for four tricks. If we can get the king of clubs and ace of hearts separately... Uh, that gets us to six, and maybe we can get the king of diamonds. We're, we might be struggling here. Um, Point-wise, we had 13, and partner had nine. So we've got most of the points, and we might not even be able to make one no trump. We've got 19 and 13, uh, 22. They have 18. We have no real clue um, where those are divided. Let's see if West led away from the King of Spades. No. So we could either duck this one or we could duck the next one. Doesn't make a lot of difference. There might be some advantage to ducking. East might not return a spade. Let's see if we can set up a spade. I mean, a club. Maybe clubs are 3-3. Three, three. We'll duck this one. Okay, it's best for them if they duck this nine of clubs. I don't know if they know that or they want it. So we got a good club and dummy. And they've now set up a lot of tricks. I'm not going to throw a club because I might need clubs 3-3. Three, three. If clubs are divided 3-3, three, three, I can take uh, the two tricks I have plus the jack of spades is 3. The Ace of hearts is four, and three clubs is five, six, seven. The other thing I can do is try to get the king of hearts, I mean the queen of hearts, and let them lead a heart to me, but or a card or a club to me, but that seems fairly shaky. So I think what I finally decided to do was to play for the 3-3 three, three clubs, although it that requires West to have made a mistake by going up with the Queen of Clubs. So the question is, do you want to overtake the Queen of Hearts here? If you don't, you have to lead a diamond from your six-card suit. And they have to lead more diamonds. And 
they got a couple spades that they can cash at least two. So I went with the, I mean at least one. So I went with the three three clubs, and there they were. So and now I can got a chance for the king of diamonds for an over trick. West wouldn't throw the Queen of Diamond. He's got he kept the Ace of Heart, Ace of uh Ace it looks like he kept the Ace of Diamonds and two good hearts. Maybe he has a spade. Lost count. Anyway, we don't have any more tricks. I think there's another heart out. There it is. And that was a reasonable board. So here we're for the last hand. One, we're going to open this with no trump. One good advantage of playing these hands, uh, these instant tournaments, is you have a lot of good hands. And I like good hands because I get to play a lot of hands. And that's multiplied when you're playing robot tournaments because uh, you play hand even if your partner has it. There I was talking about I had good intermediates. I had the queen, ten of spades, queen, nine of clubs, ace, jack, nine of diamonds. Those are all good cards. That's just, so this is a good hand. I initially complained about the ace, queen of hearts, doubleton. But all in all, you know, it's not a bad, bad hand. Hear about whether you should bid four hearts or not. I, I think not. Partner only have five hearts on this auction. So... And I've got the good intermediates, queen, ten of spades, queen, nine of clubs, jack, nine of diamonds. I like the matching ten and nine combinations with higher honors. We should probably do some example hands why the, the value of those. Okay, so here we go. Um, we can take three diamonds, five hearts, and a club. That's nine tricks. We can always make three no trump. Just uh, place low and win three diamonds. Um, catch ace, queen of hearts. Come in hand. Win the last ace of diamonds after the suit's been unblocked. Club to the ace and cash your hearts. The question is, do we want to make four? Everybody can make three on any non... Well, maybe not. Any non-spade lead. I think I'm going to play East for the Jack of Spades and play for an over trick. Because I think making three is going to be sort of normal. Okay, well, they've unblocked diamonds for me. Now I can I can now uh, come to my Ace, Queen of Hearts, cash my Ace of Diamonds, back to the Ace of Clubs, and run my hearts if they don't split 5-1. But uh, I'm going to save my Queen of Hearts as an entry, and I'm going to try to set up clubs. And if the Jack of Spades is in East, I'll make over tricks. Since I think I'm in a normal contract, I'm going to go for that. Okay, well, there you go. I've now got two good clubs. I've got entries of both hands in clubs. So I can go back to dummy with the Ten of Clubs, and I can come back to my hand later with the Ace of Diamonds. So we're going to make at least... At least two over tricks, I think. I'll throw all my spades away. Maybe the queen of spades is tripleton. Probably not. But I'm, they're never going to throw away the ace and king of spades. So I'm still my spades away. Come to my club. Catch my ace of diamonds. I'll make five if the queen of diamonds doesn't fall. Oh, somebody threw a diamond. That was probably a mistake. They threw another diamond. Now my diamonds have to be good. And we made 12 tricks. So this would probably be a world top. And it is. So was it worth the gamble um, to go for the over tricks? I forgot to look to see what the uh, three no trump making three would be. But you could always take your nine tricks at, you know, right off the top after the diamond lead. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next week.